What's up? I'm here to let you know what's going to be happening here on this YouTube channel and what's going on with Savage Finance. Like June, I did a lot of testing. And one of the things that I did not do was run ads because running ads messes up your analytics on your main channel. So one of the things is I'm going to start running ads from another channel that isn't this channel. Also, there will not be any more really how to business content on this channel because what I have found out is when I talk about current events or stimulus checks or rioting, they do way, 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 way better. So what I feel has happened is that the people who are interested in the how to build business, how to get their money correctly, have moved to Savage Finance because Savage Finance is growing quite nicely. Savage Finance gets five times as many subscribers as this channel and it's just a different crowd. So what I'm going to do is continue to give you the stuff that you want about editorial content and some of the topics are about to get really, really saucy because y'all like drama over here. Y'all really, really like drama. So there's going to be more drama and everything. And then all of the LLC and all this other stuff is going to switch to Savage Finance. And I'm going to start another Facebook group for Savage Finance. And this is going to be for people who want to get a better handle on their money. Also, there are new paid products for Savage Finance. The links below, I'm going to be promoting those. And that's something I'm going to start pushing because I've already had a lot of people sign up. I got a guy with a medical um, transport. I got a trucker. I got some e-commerce people. I got some other small business people. So that's going really well. So I'm going to do more of that. And essentially, the topics over here are about to get very, very controversial. And I have to be careful with that because when you get too controversial, you, you, you can't run ads. It's kind of crazy because every time, because I did one video where I talked about uh, the coronavirus and some other saucy topics and the, the ads were limited and the video did really well, but I didn't get any, I didn't make any ad money. So I will intentionally do that because there are certain things I know I can talk about. And no, oh, the thumb, the thumbnails. YouTube does not like big booties. I had, um, when I was talking about, I forget which video it was, but they removed the thumbnail literally within minutes of me posting the video. And the video was trending really nicely because that was a really good thumbnail. So. YouTube is, is a hater on the thumbnails because the girls had clothes on. But for some reason, YouTube removed the thumbnail because there was too much bootyliciousness. So I'm going to also probably start, you know, live streams over here will be probably once to twice per week. I'm not going to do them daily. If anything, there may be a daily live stream at Savage Finance because, you know, I did one live stream over there and I had like 150 people in there, which was pretty good for this channel because Savage Finance, because, you know, the, the whole thing is YouTube has a different algorithm for live streams. YouTube has a different algorithm for your videos. YouTube has a different algorithm for community posts. YouTube has a different algorithm for thumbnails. So some people's channels were really small. The algorithm is geared when they do a live stream, they get crazy, crazy traffic. So this is one of the things that I'm going to try to set up at Savage Finance because I'm, I'm probably trying to do a show for Savage Finance. And also the posting schedule has gone from Sunday to Wednesday to Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So those are when 
regular videos will be posted on Savage Finance. And I've got to kind of figure out how I'm going to do it. But essentially, everything is changing because, you know, June, I saw a lot when I did the George Floyd video. That video is almost up to 9,000 views. I did the Candace Owen video. I think that's up to like 7,000 views. I did the stimulus check uh, live streams early on. They're like six, 7,000. Because you will see that, you know, from January, I would put up a video. It would get... 1200 1500 views and it would just literally die it would just die youtube would just say you know you've been disavowed we're, we're not going to promote your videos and typically now what has happened is i will release a regular video because you know once again going ahead like if you're doing youtube and you're going to do nothing but live streams you are altering your channel Kevin Samuels does a lot of live streams. He gets a ton of traffic on his live streams. But what happens is it screws your regular videos. Because if you notice that I stopped doing the live streams and I started posting video after video after video after video after video, and it took a minute to turn it around because the channel was geared for the live streams, but the live streams would only go so far and they would literally die. So with the regular videos, I am get posting videos that are consistently getting viewed. And also the live streams are, were, were too long because that, that was another issue with the live streams because all live streams were an hour, hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half. And that was just too long because even on Savage Finance, the, my live stream, it was like 28 minutes and I just cut it off because I don't want to get in the habit of doing hour long live streams over there when I already know that, you know, typically a lot of the videos that I've been doing here have been 20 to 28 minutes and they've been doing really, really well. So that's an, an area that I want to be in. And some of these videos will be shorter. Some of them be like direct to the point. Some of them be crazy. Some of them be over the top. I will be, I'm going to expand the topic content base. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things like, you know, mainstream lending. The Fed has, you know, set up a mainstream lending program that no one has taken advantage of. And also I'm going to maybe do a video and talk about why people haven't taken advantage of it because most businesses in America are small. Most businesses in America don't make a million a year. Most. So with that, you know, the requirement that you had to make $500,000 per year to be eligible for the mainstream lending program booted a lot of people out, a lot, a lot of people out. So I'm going to be talking about some crazy stuff. I'm going to be talking about um, generational wealth. I'm going to be talking but you know, all of the how to start a business step by step, the LLC stuff, the uh, money management of all that's going to savage finance all that's going there because i feel that that's the appropriate place to be and also this channel has like a ridiculously high cpm like last month i don't know if it was due to the rona because youtube views have gone up dramatically for a lot of channels because of the rona but Last month, I did almost 200,000 views, and it's been a long time. You know, go way back, go back years. It, it, it literally was years since I've gotten that many views on this channel. And I think part of it is, you know, what happened with me just going to a live stream content that actually damaged the channel. So one of the things that you will understand, and you'll see this, like someone who does live streams all the time, when they do a regular video, it will not do that well. And what happens is, you know, we as YouTubers like excitement. It's like, hey, if I do a live stream, I'm gonna get 10, 20, 30,000 views. I do a regular video, I'm not gonna get much. And essentially, you gotta stick with making regular videos to reset your channel. Because if you don't, you're gonna have to keep doing live streams. 
and also the live streams at Savage Finance are going to be a little different. They're going to be more well researched. They're going to be more to the point. I don't know how many days a week I'm going to do those live streams. I got to think about it. I got to set that up. And also, because, you know, since I've opened up the consulting, this is taking up a lot of time during the day. So I've got to go ahead and establish when I'm going to do live streams because, you know, I, I like my posting schedule of Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday over at Savage Finance. And I've got some additional help because, you know, I, I will open, the, I will lift up the veil. Like if you've noticed, I'm not editing the videos at Savage Finance. Those, you know, I've hired an editor. Uh, I hired a company that is editing those videos. So those, you know, and that actually has really freed me up because if you're a YouTuber, you know, let's go ahead and just have this conversation. Depending upon your niche and depending on what you're talking about, editing can be a very, very important part to your success because to sit down and properly edit the video and let me explain to you what I used to do. I would shoot the video, however long that takes, then I would upload it. Then I would take it and cut the video into the timeline. Then I would watch it. Then I would go through it and edit it the first time. Then I would do another pass of editing. Then I would do another pass of editing. And literally you could be spending between the production of the video, the editing of the video, the designing of the thumbnail, anywhere from five to 20 hours per video. And the better edited, I have a video from 2016 that I went through this process and this video, cause it's so well edited and it has all of the cuts and it has different positions and stuff. It's, two, it's still getting views, it's still getting views and YouTube's pushing that video. So if you wanna be doing YouTube, you're gonna to have to really edit your videos or have someone do it for you. It is super, super important. There are a lot of, uh, people whose YouTube channels were growing like steroids and they have stopped because the new YouTubers are doing better jobs at creating content and they're doing a better job of editing. There's this new guy. He, he literally spends a week per, on, per video and he's, his channel is like seven months old and he has 170,000 subscribers and millions of views, but he literally spends a week producing, editing, cutting, and making a video. Cause he actually had to do a post. It was like, Hey, you know, I'm working on the next video. It's taking a little time. I think he spent two weeks on that one video. And this is what you're facing in this new YouTube environment. You're facing creators who are spending an extraordinary amount of time editing, re-editing, reshooting, setting stuff up. And this is what you're going to face if you're going to get on YouTube. And this is one of the things that has happened, like with the personal finance, um, Andrew Jack, he took off because of the editing of his videos, the editing style of his videos. And you will find out that people who just sit down and do straight talking head who are not who have no personality, have no charisma, have no juice. Their channels are starting to die and their views are going down because YouTube's not pushing them because this is the thing. You know what my competition on YouTube is? Every other YouTuber. I am competing with every other YouTuber who is putting up content because if a YouTuber puts up a really good video that's well edited, it's exciting, it's fun to watch, that's my competition, even if it's not in this particular niche, because what YouTube is doing is pushing those videos like van life, like Janelle Elena, whose channel had fell off. And then she went back to making van life videos and all of a sudden her channel took off again. So essentially what I'm going to do at some point is get to the, uh, cause Essentially, I hired the editing company for Savage Finance and with my production schedule, because, you know, when you hire an editor, you know, we, we go ahead and talk about this. 
first of all, the first few edits, they're going to have to get a lot of input from you because you got to tell them exactly how you want your video edited. And then you've got to have a process and all this other stuff. And then also with thumbnail design, and this is something else that I've seen. I've tested this last month, regular plain, then, you know, you know, thumbnails of me just doing so they don't really do that well because I did a really good video, but the thumbnail was whack and the video did not do that well because the thumbnail is where you get the first click. You must have a thumbnail that entices them. It's like when I did that video Skynet with the Terminator and the robots on it, that really, really did well. So I'm going to have to put even more effort into the thumbnails because if the thumbnails are not enticing or, you know, they don't have you, they don't have like this gangster attitude or, you know, it, it, it's just simple stuff because, well, it's not simple stuff. It's attractive, enticing things that you want to put in your thumbnails. You want to induce people to click. So I'm getting ready to do even more stuff. But once again, the content, the topics are everything for this type of channel. And I realized that in June, because I just went all over the place. I, I kind of went and talked about some stuff. And like I said, I have removed all of the how to start a business, you know, that content from this channel. I'm not doing any more of that content on this channel. It, it just doesn't do well. It, it just doesn't do well over here, but it's funny because it does well over at Savage Finance and also Savage Finance, since it's a new YouTube channel, YouTube is pushing the videos because I've got videos I've done in February that are still getting views. And I think last month, Savage Finance did 50,000 views, which is one fourth of what this channel did. 50,000 views and not even 5,000 subscribers. So by the time I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'll be doing 200, 300,000 views or more. It just depends upon how I arrange the content and I'm getting ready to revamp everything, redo everything, reset up everything. And also the Savage Finance Facebook group is going to be different. Now, I know that many of you want to talk to me and you, you've got questions and you be creeping on my Facebook and you be emailing me and stuff below is if you got a question you want to ask, and you want to discuss your business or something, I've gone ahead and put that option below. So you can go ahead and talk to me and everything. And there, there's a the consulting packages below. And we're going to see how this goes because I may have to uh, alter and, and uh, and change them up a little bit because I'm getting ready to just, like I said, redo everything from an AdSense standpoint. Last month, I made more money from AdSense than I've ever done in my life. Also, Savage Finance did like a thousand bucks in AdSense off 50,000 views. It has a very high CPM and this channel has a really high CPM. So I, know that if I just get more traffic over there, my, you know, I fully expect in two to three months to be making two to $3,000 from Savage Finance AdSense. And I'm going to push this channel where I, I can do that. And there, there, there's, you know, like, like I said, I'm getting ready to do a lot of stuff. Uh, currently I'm getting ready to hire another VA in the Philippines because like I said, new bag, we're doing everything differently. We're working hard. We're adding staff. We're, we're going to create a situation where I can be of more service and help to you as we go down this pandemic. Cause like I said before, this is the best time ever to start a business. If you're positioned and you know, we, we, you know, I, I, I've, I've talked about that in the previous videos because one of the things I want you guys to understand is we're going through a global reset right now. There are YouTubers who are jumped on the stimulus check, um, trend 
and started brand new YouTube channels and have 40 and 50,000 subscribers within two or three months, just talking about stimulus check updates, which I'm going to talk about on Savage Finance. I'm not gonna talk about it over here. And also I've done a lot of research with the stimulus check Facebook groups, the stimulus check YouTubers, people need money. Uh, this morning I was watching one and they were just saying, we need them to do the $2,000 per month retroactive. We need the money. We got bills. We're sinking. So right now America's on the ropes. And if I don't feel that they're going to renew the $600 per week boost. I feel that they may reduce it if they keep it on. And I have a feeling it's going to expire and they'll, they'll have to reintroduce something else a few months, few weeks later. But one of the things that you, you've got to understand and you know, you should, if you're not subscribed to Savage Finance, go ahead and subscribe to Savage Finance. Cause I'll be talking about how to make money, how to optimize money, how to stack money, how to build generational wealth. I'll be talking about all of those topics over at Savage Finance. That's my little honey hole for me to talk about those things that I was talking about over here that were losing people. Because another thing that happened that did not happen in June is I would put up a video and I would get subscribers and I would put up another video and I would lose a lot of subscribers because the content was disconnected. The content was discombobulated because I was all over the place. I was doing this kind of video, doing this kind of video. So I would do this video and get subscribers, then do this other video that would piss subscribers off and they would leave. And it was just this vicious cycle. And this, this was happening. This is like last month was the first month that I had like got a bunch of subscribers and kept them because the content has been similar. So that's what I'm going to keep doing over here. And some of the channels, some of this stuff's going to get a little outrageous, like the, the video in the club after 40, the video is doing really, really well. It's going to get to four or 5,000 and something else that has started to happen is videos are still getting views. They're still, YouTube is still pushing a lot of the content that I've created in the last three months. It's just not going to YouTube death land because essentially I would put out a video and it would get, I mean, it was really bad. I mean, it was, I would put out a video and it'd get like six, seven, 800 views and just die. No one else would ever see it. No one else would ever find it. It, it would just die. And that has stopped happening and the channel is on a upward trend. Also, I am going to create a new channel and I'm, I'm still conceptualizing it because I'm going to do it like I did Savage Finance. I had a really good game plan. If you do a YouTube channel, make sure that you sit down and think about what you're going to do. Really, really think about it because with the new bag, the new products and the, the support, the new staff and all this other stuff, I'm getting ready to create a media company, a media education company. Well, which is what we already are. We're a media company and we're education, but I'm getting ready to define it, make it better, create more YouTube channels, create more content, create better videos and get professional editing because I'm having, let's see. I think the new schedule, I'll be able to do five videos with the editing company. So that's 20 videos per month. And that's all going to be for Savage Finance. And I'm probably going to get another editor for the videos for the new channel. Cause like I said, editing is critical. Editing is critical because like one of the things and I know some of you are going to push back is you will see a video that was shot on a camera and it's see, but it's a young person. I found this YouTuber who he just talks smack about people, but he has a very deep resonant voice, which is part of it. And he just talks smack about famous YouTubers and his channel is like literally growing and he just doesn't really give a damn. He really don't care and people love it. So 
if you see someone young who's not following these guidelines, understand that the demographic that they appeal to doesn't care about those things. But if you're like 30 something or 40 something or 50 something and you're not using these tips, your channel more than likely is not going to do well. Just not. It's just not. You're going to have to be in a certain category. You're going to have to have certain things. But, you know, this is the new bag. The, the topics are about to get crazy because y'all like drama. Because that's one of the things I know. Because when I did the George Floyd video, which is is the best video of this year, and it's like at 10,000 views, and, you know, the drama and the race-based topics and so many other little things are going to come this way. So just letting you know, there will not be any more how to, you know, what, what is here is going to stay here. I'm not going to move it. And that that's another issue because Savage Finance has a different persona. I cannot take videos from this channel and move them over there. It's just not going to work. It's going to be a huge, huge disconnect. So I got to remake some videos that were made over here and do them over there. And who knows, Savage Finance, I might be posting five times a week over there. I don't know yet. Uh, this is one of the things that's in the mix, because like I said, June revealed a lot of things to me because, you know, I can tell you like the how to do investing uh, videos are not working really well as Savage Finance at the moment because I don't have the audience over there yet, but I'm doing those videos because Savage Finance is going to be about all things finance, personal finance, investing, how to start a business, how to make money, all of these things. So they have a place over there. And in time, an audience will develop for the investing videos. So this is what's going to happen and this is what we're going to do. So just an update. So if you want to hop on the phone or chat, there is links below to the Savage Finance Consulting Products where we will walk through your things. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing a lot of brainstorming because I'm going to create some more stuff. I'm going to um, start doing potentially giveaways. I may start doing giveaways. I, I might. I got to think about that. Got to be really careful because, you know, right now I'm giving away a free course and that's building the email list consistently. And, you know, so that's happening. But there, there's going to be a lot more that's going to come. And I'm thinking that, like I said, there's going to be a Savage Finance Facebook group. There's going to be a lot more things, you know, and I've, I've just got to think about like, you know, the business owner toolkit that's going to be over at Savage Finance. I got like so many ideas, so many things I want to do. And that's what's happening. So this is your Hustlers Kung Fu update for July 6th or 7th or whatever day it is. What's to come, what we're going to be getting into, what's coming down the pike and hopefully you are ready. So with that, go below, look at what you need, get what you need, and watch this next video.